Hello oh, scientific genius people, how are you today? We are going to continue our discussion on interference lecture series and today we are going to discuss about the derivation of intensity equation in Young's double slit experiment. So as we know that these are two sources S1 and S2 and these two are the coherent sources and the light coming from it will have same frequency, amplitude, wavelength, everything would be same. Correct. So I am going to show you two waves over here. This is wave 1 and this is wave 2. These two waves, wave number 1, wave number 2 will have same frequency, wavelength, amplitude, intensity. Now, we do know that intensity is directly proportional to the square of amplitude. So the amplitude in both the cases are same. So the intensity of both the waves would be same. Now these two waves would be falling on the screen and these two waves would be superposing with one another. So while superposition is taking place, their amplitudes are going to get added up. Correct. So now I am not going to write down the amplitude as E. We can generalize it by talking A also because it does not matter. So these two waves are having amplitudes A and now they are going to interfere on the screen. Now what can happen on the screen? So possibility number one, crest can fall on trough. So that means crest can fall on trough. This is called destructive interference because the crest would try to nullify the effect of the trough and so this is destructive interference. Second thing is crest may fall on crest. So this is called constructive interference wherein the, uh, the amplitudes would get added up. So this is called constructive. If the trough falls on trough, then also it is called constructive interference. But there is a fourth possibility that say for example, some part of the uh, crest may fall on some part of the trough. like this. So this part is going to give us our intensity equation. So I would like I would like to show you few diagrams over here. This is case one. Now in in this particular case suppose the crest of one wave is falling on the crest of other wave at point P on the screen. So suppose crest and crest they meet and this is the amplitude of one wave, this is the amplitude of the another wave. So as we can see over here, the amplitude vectors are uh, directly going to add it up. So we will get maximum amplitude that would be A plus A. So this is twice of A. Now always remember guys, if you want to find out the intensity, intensity is square of amplitude by no other means intensity shall be calculated over here. So intensity at point P when crest falls on crest or trough falls on trough one and the same thing. So intensity would be again maximum because intensity would be equal to square of amplitude so twice of A the whole square. So this would be equal to 4 A square where A square is the intensity of one wave. Correct. Because A is the amplitude of one wave so A square would be intensity of one wave. So we have maximum intensity as four times the intensity of one wave. This is one thing that we uh, get the idea from this particular diagram. And now this is the case two, wherein the crest and trough are meeting. This was crest uh, case one in which crest and crest or trough and trough are meeting at point P on the screen. So this is say for example crest of wave one, but this is the trough of wave 2. Now these both are meeting at point P on the screen. So we will see that the amplitudes will try to get cancelled. So A in the upward direction and A in the minus direction or negative A. So the net amplitude would be 0. So it would be the minimum amplitude. Minimum amplitude would be A plus minus A. 
resulting in zero so i would get minimum intensity because if the amplitude is minimum intensity is minimum amplitude maximum intensity would be maximum so this is again zero so minimum intensity is zero maximum intensity would be 4i now what would happen guys that if this vector and this vector are at an angle see till now we have not gone inside the uh, equation portion i have just tried to make you uh, understand with the help of a very small diagram with the concept of vectors so if two vectors are directly adding you get maximum uh, vector so two amplitudes directly added up to give maximum amplitude in opposite direction if they get added then you will have minimum value of amplitude square them up you get maximum and minimum intensity but this is quite interesting look at this one and from here we are going to get our intensity equation right so you need not to worry about the mathematical part with the help of simple vector addition i will teach you the intensity equation so suppose this is a vector this is again a vector and this is case 3 where there is some angle between both the vectors if they meet at point p so suppose this is some part of the crest another part of the crest if they meet randomly on the uh, at point p on the screen but i would like to make a point over here that the angle between these is the phase difference this you remember guys so the angle between both the vectors both the amplitude vectors when they meet at the screen is delta 5 correct now let us try to see what is the intensity over here so we know that if forces if uh, say for example two forces are there this is f1 and this is f2 and if theta is the angle between them then the resultant force f is equal to f square is equal to f1 square plus f2 square plus 2 f1 f2 cos theta in the same way suppose I am considering this as A1, I know it is A but still A1 and A2, then the A net square or the uh, say for example the this is your resultant A net vector. So A net square would be equal to A1 square plus A2 square plus 2 A1 A2 and what is the angle between both of them? Cos of delta phi. Correct. Now we know that A1 A2 are same. So it would be a square plus a square plus 2 a square cos of delta phi. Correct. And 2 a square from here gets common. So this is 2 a square. This is 2 a square. So it would be 1 plus cos delta phi. And this is equal to 2 a square. 1 plus cos theta is equal to 2 cos square delta phi by 2 remember don't cancel this 2 and 2 this is the 2 of the angle correct so this would be equal to 4 a square cos square delta phi by 2 where delta phi is the phase difference correct so now i know what is a square a square is the intensity of any one of the waves correct so it would be 4i cos square delta phi by 2 that is equal to a net square so i will write down this as i net correct so square of the amplitude is equal to the uh, intensity so now i am here with a very important formula and i would like to highlight this one this is our intensity equation guys now see let us check whether we have uh, our main equation work is it correlating with the diagrams or not so we know that cos square theta maximum value so cos square theta or cos square delta phi by 2 its maximum value is plus 1 so that means the i net or the maximum intensity would be equal to 4i correct this is maximum intensity and this would be maximum intensity and we know that cos square theta graph uh, is always between 0 and 1 so the minimum value of cos square delta phi by 2 would be 0 so cos square delta phi by 2 its minimum value is 0 
so i net would be equal to zero so this is our minimum intensity so whatever we have analyzed before the uh, the derivation of the concept was true right so the derivation <clears throat> of the intensity equation i have taught you with the help of a very uh, so, i mean very uh, short vector concept so stay tuned guys hopefully you have liked my explanation and we would be continuing our series uh, and our next topic would be the graph of the intensity equation versus delta phi right and if you have not subscribed my channel guys please do that and stay tuned thank you for watching the video